show. I have an exciting guest today, which I know very well. And Robert is a renowned international educator in the industry. He has been doing this for over 20 years. He has over 20 courses. He has taught over 100,000 students in 179 countries. Dear Lord, can you believe that? All around the world. Welcome, Robert Lante. Hello, Robert. Hello, Nadia. It's good to see you today. And um, thank you for such a lovely introduction. Oh, you're wonderful. And of course, you're the founder of The Vocalist Studio. That's how I first met you because I'm taking the singer's course on your uh, vocalist studio. And it's quite interesting. And I have to tell you, Robert, I have never been entertained so much taking a course. I love your course because you are hilarious. You make it fun. You make me laugh. It's a great singing course. I love it. Well, anybody that teaches and mentors in any industry, be it the, you know, the thing that how you and I first met as yes. a coach or or as a consultant mentoring clients for the online course work that we'll get into it yes. doesn't matter one thing is for sure that is that a teacher needs to be entertaining yes and you and know they're not <laughs> the best teachers i've ever had and i've had some really brilliant people in college and private lessons and sort of thing and i, I just happened to notice that one thing they all had in common is they were entertaining. They were charismatic. They had, yes. you know, some mojo. So yes. yeah. Well, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. This is just amazing to me how fast the year is going. I mean, yeah. we're going to wake up tomorrow and it'll be Christmas and our Christmas is going to be entirely different than it has been in years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Um, it's, it's been a crazy year. I, yeah. Yeah. recently told a, a good friend of mine that you know i'm looking back on 50 years of life and 35 years of adulthood and i think it's the the strangest yes year of my life yeah. yes i have to agree it's been really incredible i've in my life i never dreamed anything would be the way it is right now never mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you Can would have you told imagine? me that i would have never believed it if you can go back in time, can you imagine that, say, five, six years ago, if you could go, excuse me, go forward in time, yeah. if you could like see yourself from the outside, see yourself forward in time and see everybody wearing a mask. Never. And, and people <laughs> riding on the streets. Yes. And all of that sort of thing. It would be, it would be really a fantastic experience, wouldn't it? But, oh, amazing. Amazing. But, but through yeah. adversity, we grow, we get stronger, new things happen. There's a yes. some sense there's a reason for this. It's, yes. it's, I think that the world and society, our society and everybody to some extent, I think it just needed to burp. Yes. The good thing about this is the planet is replanting itself, refurbishing, re mm -hmm. regenerating, re-everything. It's becoming what it should have been or what it was originally because man has destroyed it. And that's the good thing about it. Or what it needs to get to. Right, exactly. And our lives change, but in a lot of ways they're changing for the better and, and mm -hmm. different in a different way. So mm -hmm. we just have to acclimate to that. Yeah, it doesn't appear that way while we're in it right now. Yeah. But as we get through this on the other side, we'll be... Yes. Wow, you know, just think about all the great research and new innovation yes. in, in virology on, on you know, any, all the advancements that are going to happen in technology on, on fighting viruses for mankind into yes. the future. What you and I are doing right now also, um, you know, virtual training, virtual meetings and things have been around for many years, but yes. I think we've, we've all had been forced to take it to a whole new level and, and, and learning, distance learning, virtual learning, online courses, all of that. It's going to push all of that forward into a whole new level for everybody. And that's probably good. Yes. Yes. And I, I pray that this ends pretty soon. I have a feeling it'll end after the election. <laughs> think so? <laughs> okay. It'll be interesting, won't it? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah. let's I mean, talk don't get about. Me, don't get me started. So. Okay, yeah, I know. We don't want to get started. We know. We've, we, you and I have talked, and we talk frequently about this whole thing. And oh my God, yes. Okay, let's talk about you. How about, okay. tell us about your Horse Creek. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to go back and sort of point out just quickly so people can appreciate sort of my background and where it came from. Yes. I'll try to make a very long story yes. short relevant to Course Creek, which we want to talk about today. Course um, Creek Consulting, yes. Yes. So Course Creek Consulting is a, is a, uh, is a, um, a consultation firm, me, firm meaning myself and a team of professionals that essentially help thought leaders, organizations, um, teachers, and really anybody with a great idea learn how to, how to um, build a marketing plan um, do the coaching required, like the personal coaching that's required to help somebody learn how to make a storyboard curriculum, instructional design, refine their idea on camera coaching with me, which is sort of my wheelhouse and good at that. And then implement, meaning we have video files, we have content and we're going to implement them into platforms like Kajabi or Teachable or, or Uscreen, those kinds of things. So yeah. Course Creek Consulting is an online course consultation firm, and the way we do it is with uh, some some uh, strategic plan on the front end, and we do some personal coaching, and then we implement the stuff for people. Wow! I like to say, I yes. like to say that that we don't sell dreams; we consult, coach, and implement them. I like that. <laughs> It's Should catchy, I take the? It's, uh, true. it's true. It's yes. absolutely true. Yes, it is true. I know. I know. You're a genius for coming up with this, actually, um, because I know you as a voice coach. Now, yep. how did you go from voice coach to this kind of thing, which is a different thing altogether? I mean, really, does not does it have anything to do well, with voice? It, the on-camera coaching yes. component uh -huh. of my service uh -huh. does cross over a little bit because we talk about um, amplifying and animating the voice for camera. Uh -huh. We talk about gesticulation and, and nice presentations. So there's a little bit there. Um, however, the piece that's mostly similar is really the business. Mm -hmm. So not teaching and coaching people how to sing better, but really what's happening behind the scenes in business. Mm. So I just say for people that are viewing this, what we're talking about is I spent 30 years um, developing an online school, an international school that helps singers and public speakers learn how to train and practice and go through the motor skills development to develop strength and coordination to become better singers and public speakers I mean, we were successful wrote a best-selling book and um, we did um, nine online courses for singers now the way this ties is ties in is producing those courses for singers taught me how to make courses oh. it put me on the front lines of what's required what you have to do to actually get it done not just talk about it Yes, but really, you know, roll up your sleeves and go to work and get it done. So, um, um, 30 years is a long time to be doing the same thing. Yes. Uh, by the <laughs> way, I still teach voice a little bit on the side, but my focus now is leveraging those skills and talents for, um, e-learning production. And, um, so we launched course Creek and, um, I'm having a blast. It's great. I, I feel the old Robert, the old coach, the, 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 the mentor that, that you're referring to that earlier. I know. Uh -huh. and, I, and I feel that, that, that familiar person coming through, but in a whole new cool context of, of helping executives and, and thought leaders. That is cool. So yeah. who are you reaching with this? Uh, what kind of clientele are you looking for? Or are you helping with this? What kind of person gets the help from you? Well, um, organizations, teachers, thought leaders, mm. 
-hmm. and anybody with a great idea. So a thought leader would be somebody that owns their own IP or their method. Um, typically, mm -hmm. maybe they've written a book and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I find myself um, spending a lot of time with people that have prior to the um, COVID were going into businesses and providing training. Maybe it's presentation training or teamwork training or um, something that the company hires them to go in and do. But now they can't go in as easily, if at all, to do private training at the uh, business to business level. Yeah. The brilliance and all of that. And what they need to do is take what used to be sort of a brick and mortar presentation and convert it to a digital offering, which means we're talking about online courses, group calls, and virtual training. Yes. Wonderful. So Wonderful. That's one group. And I have a little pocket of musicians that still sort of follow me along. I'm helping them uh, make some courses as well. And, uh, but really, Course Creek has been super, one thing that's been cool about it is there's so many different business models. Yes. Like I'm exposed to all kinds of neat ideas um, that, so that's been fun and challenging. Really just anybody that needs to get their ideas into a course and is interested in scalability, path of income and, 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 and you know, getting their authority amplified. Cool, cool. Yeah. So what is your customer avatar like? My, my customer avatar. Um, it is somebody that realizes that they want, it would be a lot of things, but I'd say at the top of that list, I'd say be somebody that realizes that they want scalability in their business. Uh -huh. I want to be able to produce an idea, a product, a lesson, a course, and, and have it be able to grow and scale. So uh -huh. one element, one token of energy can continue to grow and pay dividends back, which is one of the beautiful things about mm -hmm. online courses mm -hmm. is the scalability. The other thing that these folks are looking for is um, either to amplify their authority in the space or to um, um, sort of augment the authority that they, that they already have to get the authority out, their expertise out to a broader market. Online courses take you out of a localized market and it gets you to the entire world. For example, if your course is in English, you literally can sell to 785 million English speakers around the world. Oh, and yes, absolutely. Um, so yes, that's the main language. Distribution, scalability. Yes. Um, <laughs> and somebody that's looking to do public speaking or would like to do interviews and things like this yes it's really great to get eyes on you as well because you're not just dealing with 50 customers you're talking about 50,000 customers and there's a really lot of interesting people that come out of the woodwork that you meet this is a perfect example this is how you and I met yes and we're doing this nice interview and podcast and yes and so that's the avatar but first and foremost I would say scalability yes you know I love, I'll tell you, like for me, I wasn't doing video at all. And like, I've only, this is my second recording in video. And I really, really am enjoying it. And it's like a whole different media for me. Well, I take that back because I did do film, uh, video, filming in Hollywood when I was there and I interviewed, you know, some people there. Yeah. But that was a whole different thing. I had like three cameramen and <laughs> the director. I had all kinds of other people. I had a crew. Here, it's me and my makeup artist and my assistant. So, but I'm here and I, I really like it. And I like it because it gets out there and, and, and really the world sees it. The world hears it and it's visible everywhere. And I think it's like the greatest medium there is right now. Do you believe that's true? Well, of course. Video is the strongest medium for communication and marketing. Yes. For sure. There's just yes. no question about it. Yes. YouTube, for example, is the world's second largest search engine and it's owned by the world's first largest. Search Which one is it? YouTube. Yes, it is. Right. Yes. And in terms of getting your point across, teaching, training. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, video is, is, is the way to reach through the camera. Yes. Capture your student, <laughs> entertain your student, yes. empower your student, 
um, engage your student. And you can do those with other things like PDFs and written copy. And we talk about that in the consulting engagements at Course Creek. But as you would guess, I'm a big advocate of video. That's why yes. I offer the on-camera coaching. Yes, I'm becoming that way. And yeah. last week, I spent seven days. There was a podcast fest, and it was all done online, all on Zoom or mm -hmm. another streaming outlet. And I'll tell you, I spent eight hours a day, each day for seven days, learning so many things that uh, that's it's just incredible. I like was on brain overload, <laughs> but I learned so much and cause I love learning and I love learning new things. And I just went, I, I love it. It's like watching it's video. It's like watching a movie. I mean, it's, you're watching a movie and it's like when you're watching a movie, you get into it, you get into the characters, you get into the story and you either feel it or you don't feel it. So it's cool. It's cool. It's interesting you mentioned stories in yes. in our engagement with my clients. I I when we work on the storyboard and the 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 curriculum of yes. course those different techniques to get the ideas out on paper. One of the fun things that I typically would have my students do, or my clients do, is is tell stories. Yes, I want you to be a storyteller on camera. Yes, and behind every story is a lesson yeah so we say well here's the 10 important lessons you need to know for this particular topic you can come off sort of dry do bullet points and that sort of thing but mm -hmm. what i would what i try to encourage my clients to do is deliver that key information but wrap it inside of a story because you connect with your students that way by the way connecting with your students that way results in higher sales conversions. It Absolutely. Five star reviews. What are the two things about Course Creek that you feel are unique and harder to find in other areas? In right. other I don't want to say that it's more than anybody else. I you know there's there's some super talented people out there. In fact some of the people you know have mentors in the business that are that are been doing this for years. So uh -huh. I don't know more isn't really quite word right word for it. But I'll just I'll tell you this. What? Two things. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> you know, everybody's waiting. Get to it. All right. Get to it. <laughs> one, one. Um, I've actually done it. I've actually created a course and yes. stood in front of a camera and taught on a course. There's a lot of mm, online course marketing services that are super valuable and they're great, but it's sort of interesting to me to notice that sometimes, well, oftentimes, the person delivering that content hasn't actually made a course before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that has value. I think that's important. It is. Um, the other thing that is interesting that comes from that personal experience of doing it is the on-camera coaching and the writing of the storyboards. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. When you've spent thousands of hours in front of a camera, as I have, you get good and you build a methodology on that. So that might be some of my secret sauce and working with my clients on their own camera coaching, by the way, is super fun. That's sort of the fun part. And yeah. we really, we really see quite a transformation when that happens. That is cool. That is really cool. So, uh, how do you, you I have met a few people like me where we do different things at the same time and we have different things going on because yep. we, do one thing and we learn something and we do an offshoot from that and so on and so on. Yeah. And do you find that at all? Do you ever get overwhelmed? Do you ever feel like pulling your hair, you know, and like, Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do this? You know, do you ever feel overwhelmed? I guess is what I'm asking. Well, in terms of projects and, and work, um, yeah. Yes. The honest answer would be yes, I do. Yes. I, I, mm -hmm. The teaching business that we talked about, it's still yes. running. It still needs to be marketed. There's yes. still clients that need to be taken care of there from time to time. And then we're building Course Creek and that's moving forward and taking off. Yes. So there's a lot of customers there. And then there's personal time. And um, in fact, I think I just joined a new band. 
as well. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, so we have to yeah, learn you have to tell us about that. What's that? <laughs> what kind of genre? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, progressive metal rock. Oh, <laughs> cool. Well, let me ask you now. All these things you're doing are yep. these your dreams? Is this the dream that you had? And if it is, when did you start having this dream? That's a great question. Um, I'd say that I speak for others, and I think I speak for myself. There's many dreams that we have. I think you can go down different paths and be equally happy down different paths. I don't, I guess my, you know, I don't know if it would be my dream, my dream job. I don't know about that, but I will say this. It is something that I'm excited about and happy to be doing and feel very confident. And there's a kind of there's a satisfaction that comes with knowing that you're doing the thing that you're good at. Yeah. The, the thing that is aligns with your passions and your talents and your skills. And I've heard on the vine, that's not necessarily a, a, an easy thing for people to find. Mm -hmm. I've managed to do that mm -hmm. both with the voice work and yeah, at the vocalist studio and now again with the Quartz Creek. So there's something, there's something in my wiring that, that, that works in regards to pursuing things that I enjoy and that are that I'm passionate about and that make a lot of sense. What um, golden nuggets can you give the audience <laughs> if they have a similar dream? How would they achieve or begin to do what you're doing or it, anything close? To, to do the work that I do? Yes, well, you know, you're doing your dream, you're doing what you have a passion for. Yep. So what advice would you give someone who has a dream to start something, to be an entrepreneur, to, to get started? How would you inspire someone to do something like this? Well, you have to reach inside, be really clear on what you're passionate about, what you want to do, what you want to love, okay, what you do love. Maybe that's obvious, but let's start there. And then um, I think that that thing that you choose, you need to also choose that if you're going to do it, you're going to have fun doing it. Yes. So how do you... Do the thing that you're doing, could be anything, Wouldn't doesn't have to be voice coaching or online course consulting, whatever it is, find the fun inside, yes. make it fun, because if it's not enjoyable and fun, then you'll wash out, you'll yes. quit, yes. or you'll just be miserable. So, yes. so let's get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Next would be <laughs> educate yourself. Yes. Read books, find mentors, take courses, and educate yourself to learn how to not only do the thing that you enjoy and you have a passion about the core passion but how to run the business wonderful properly and, wonderful and i'm speaking from personal experience lessons learned the hard way yes if i go a little bit deeper into yes. how to run the business yes i'm gonna lean forward for dramatic effect for, for viewers, for then it has scalability to it. Do not only trade time for money. Don't do that. Wonderful. Then you can do the scalability. So, I, so how can the listeners reach out to you? Um, they can contact me at coursecreek.com, like online course, creek like a little river, coursecreek.com. We have a contact page. You can contact me there, or you can contact me at robert at coursecreek.com. All right, um, Robert. Yeah. Yes. Dear. Thank you so much for being my guest. You are beautiful, wonderful, brilliant. You're a genius. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're this welcome. Time. Yep. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye.